Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today is a big day. I got my printer. Introducing the Epson XP15000. Only $399. Just kidding. This printer was actually $350 Canadian. So that's probably closer to $200 US. But I got it on sale. So you cut $100 off the price and that's what you end up with. A couple of reasons I went with this printer, this is an inkjet. It's made for printing photos. So it's used to working on thick paper. It's got this uh, fancy rear, rear feed, which means when you put paper in the paper tray, normally it goes through a bunch of reels back and forth and then it comes out as a finished product. The rear feed is important if you're using really thick photo paper. It can't go through all the little reels and stuff and a lot of stuff gets smudged that way. So this way, in and then out. So that's very cool. What's the resolution on this bad boy? Not that you care or you'd ever do it. This is a regular eight and a half by 11 slot. This will do photos, spreadsheets, water slide decals as wide as 13 inches, which is uh, completely useless for what we're doing, but you know, pretty handy feature if you wanted to just use it as a printer. Well, Mr. Diecast, why is that printer so cheap? Well, the most popular printers these days are combination printers. They scan, they fax, they email a card to your grandma on her birthday. They do all these things. This printer only prints, so all that money that you're paying is strictly for a printer, not for all the other wingdings and doodads. And yes, this will print on paper just fine. But the reason I got this is so we can print on lustrous, lustrious. I'm not getting the shine here, it's just too much white. It looks like it came from heaven. That is decal paper. And we are gonna do a test print. I've been messing around a little bit, printed out some things, checked out the quality, it's pretty good. I'm only having one little problem so far. I'm getting a little bit of smudge in the paper sometimes. And I did a little bit of troubleshooting and they said usually that has to do with like the paper selection. You know, I'm using, the printer's got like 15 different paper selections. Glossy, semi-glossy, matte, extreme, photo glossy, ultimate photo glossy. And then there's different thicknesses and you got to dial in exactly what you're doing or else sometimes the clearances aren't quite what they should be. And it's not, it's not ruining things, but I might get a little bit of a smudged edge here on the top or the side as we print this out and you will see. I was in a big hurry to print out some stuff, so that's what I did. And uh, so now we're going to go and hang out on my computer. Okay, so we are in Adobe Illustrator, and Illustrator is a really cool program. It's a little bit more used for graphics than Photoshop. So all those guys that make real cool gamer logos and stuff, a lot of them do it in Illustrator, and that's because you can manipulate almost anything. Shift stuff in any direction, skew it mash it, make all kinds of cool stuff. So these um, snippets here are from my old YouTube channel. Let's just use these as an example just because I already had them made. I would like to get a good example of a photo and who better than the dude. So we're going to take the dude and we're going to incorporate him. Incorporate him into our logo. So we'll just smush him down here. Nothing too fancy. Just get him in the middle here somewhere. That looks real good. And the dude is an excellent representation of me. He even drinks my favorite beverage. It's starting to look real good. Something like that. And that'll give me a good idea of how the graphics look and how the photos look. And we are going to do a print test on the new printer on the actual water slide decal paper. Okay. All right, I've hit print. Hopefully it's smart enough to know that I asked for the glossy paper and it grabs the one sheet I got in the back there. Oh, or is it gonna just grab from the paper cartridge? This is right from uh, sleep mode, so it's gonna take a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it's grabbing the big stuff. It's 
So I got everything set on the slowest settings. I am not in any any hurry to have this printed out fast. I actually reduced all the settings so that it goes slower on purpose. Hopefully our smudging isn't too bad. I picked a kind of a medium gloss paper this time. So we will see. So when I tested out this earlier, the first thing I did is I cut out one and I put it in water just to see if the ink would run, and it did. So what that means is I'm going to need to coat this with a couple different products you can use. Uh, Testers makes an actual product that is made for this exact thing. You spray it over, kind of like clear coat, onto your decals, and you let it dry for, I don't know, an hour, half an hour half a day anyone who's new to this like I am I'm gonna let all this stuff sit for overnight so I'm not gonna be in any hurry I'm trying to put wet decals on my on my ride and all I want to do is get them printed out nicely and then get them coated what do you think about that Look at it. Is that not a thing of beauty? Look how accurate that... Uh... I don't have gloves on. <laughs> Look how accurately it made that transition. Like that is unbelievable. So now if I were to put this decal straight into water, like I said, this would all just bleed right out. So what I did as an experiment was I grabbed a can of Extreme Lacquer by Testers, and it's literally a clear coat. And you just give this paper a light dusting, and you just kind of seal all that ink in, and you get it ready for water. There are different papers out there that are supposed to be for this that aren't supposed to bleed as much. And I'm going to be doing some experimenting. I'm going to be ordering a bunch of different papers. I'm going to be trying out a lot of different settings. This one came out real nice. There's no bleeding on my paper. Little teeny bit on this edge, you can't even see it, but super happy with my results. And that is a perfect, perfect decal. So maybe in the next episode of playing with my printer, I'll get this clear coated tonight and I'll do another video and we'll try to stick this something. Maybe I'll put it on my mug, my coffee mug or my Canadian libations mug, even the little one came out really good considering how detailed that image was so super happy with this good purchase for two hundred dollars canadian can't go wrong thanks for watching this video and i hope to see you in the next one thanks guys